Okay guys, what's up, hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to look at a pop-up menu button, which is basically a button which will showcase like a small menu over it, where you can have like hidden features like you know when you have the three dots in the apps for more functions, etc. We are going to do that now. It's actually quite simple. So we are going to create it as a independent widget which we are going to then reference it in our scaffold so we are going to do a pop up menu which is going to return pop up menu button and from here it's quite simple we are just going to create context and we are going to return pop up pop up menu entry yeah, sorry, um, like this. And we will need an identifier, which we can, for example, use int, but it doesn't really matter which one we are going to use. Uh, we need to have an int even here, I think, so it works. And two, two, two. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, this is exactly what we need to do. Now, we are going to need to define the the menu button so we are going to have give it an icon icon icons no oh it's already icon data icons uh, and menu whatever no no icon menu sorry yeah that's about it so now we can do this and we have the menu button here it's not going to show anything because we don't have anything here so we are going to give it pop up menu item and child is going to be list style which i think works pretty well we're going to give it a title um, which is going to be a text and it's going to be an i item one whatever it whatever you really want so this might be just like a share button and we are going to give it a leading we're going to be another icon icons dot share and yep and like this we can do whatever you want for example delete to do delete and then if you want something for the buttons to actually do, you are going to just give it on that for the for the list style. So this is going to print daily. And this is going to print share. And now you have nice pop-up menu button, which will give you share and delete functions. This is extremely useful. You can, for example, have it in another list style where it's going to go as trailing. And by title, is going to be text. And this is item in a list. So then you can have list of the items where you need to perform some actions within the items and you can do it like this. So there's not really much more to it. I just wanted to do this as a quick little tutorial for a widget. So thank you for watching. If you need help with anything, you can ask in the comments or join the Discord, which is linked in the description. So thank you. Have a nice time. Consider liking and subscribing and see you in the next one.